Welcome back. So as coronavirus cases continue to surge, the demand for blood and plasma has risen to new heights. Right now is a critical time for blood donations. Chelsea Smith from the Community Blood Center explains how you can help. So can you tell us the current state of blood supply in our area? We've been severely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, unfortunately. We typically require a seven day supply of blood products at all times. That's how we can adequately uh, supply our hospitals with the, with the blood that they need to treat patients. Unfortunately, since the onset of the pandemic, we haven't exceeded a five day supply. And actually in 2021, since January 1st, we've not exceeded a three day supply. So uh, this is a time where we normally struggle regardless. Uh, winter months are hard uh, months for collections, but um, the pandemic has made it exceptionally worse. So we are still, um, we're still, our blood supply is still very much crippled. It's a chronic deficit that we've been seeing over the past nine or 10 months. And it's uh, time to turn that around. Chelsea, we've been having these conversations for the past several weeks and the number that you've been mentioning, the magic number, it's a stable seven day supply. Why is it so important to hit that number? Yeah, the seven day supply refers to the amount of hospitals in our area that we service. Um, and that's our comfort level for having that supply. We know what our hospitals need day to day, but that seven day supply also provides a cushion in case, God forbid, something were to happen, you know, a pile up of cars on the highway or some uh, mass casualty incident where we're pumping out a lot of blood products to one specific hospital that really depletes our blood supply. So when we're sitting at like a three day supply as we're at right now, it's incredibly dangerous um, where we are having to uh, be very careful about how much blood we're sending out to our hospitals to make sure that they are able to meet day to day needs. But additionally, when our blood supply is this low, it prevents us from being able to help other areas in the country. Mm -hmm. We belong to a network of blood centers all across the country that will resource share when one part of the country is struggling more than another. But basically, we've all been in the same boat this year. We've we've all been struggling for collections and unfortunately, we're not able to help each other out in the ways that we could pre pandemic. So it's exceptionally important that we get back up to that seven day supply or even more if we can afford that so that we can provide for our hospitals here locally and we can lend helping hands to our neighbors when they need it. Also, there's a need for convalescent plasma. Why is that need important right now as well? Yeah, so convalescent plasma refers to the plasma we collect from recovered COVID-19 patients. And there is evidence to suggest that it can help people with severe COVID-19 infections recover. So we are collecting convalescent plasma um, across all of our donor center locations and blood drive locations in an effort to uh, supply that treatment to the hospitals in our area that are using that. And as COVID cases spike, the need for convalescent plasma spikes. So with our already low collections, I mean, we're still needing to maintain red blood cells, plate, platelets, regular plasma for donors, and um, it's just an additional need. So e even more so than pre-pandemic, now we need more, but we're getting less. So it's it's a it's a problem. Um, we're working through it. We're we're working diligently to build our convalescent plasma supply for our local hospitals. But in addition to that, red blood cells, platelets, and regular plasma are a focus of ours as well. And if we want to step up, how can we make a difference for our community? And how can we learn more information? So very simply, we just need you to donate. So if you if you're a donor who has never don or if you're an individual who's never donated before, now would be a good time to try that out and see if it's for you. Um, if you're somebody who maybe doesn't know whether or not you would be eligible, you can go online to savealifenow.org or give us a call and we can let you know whether or not you're eligible to donate. But um, in essence, we need more donors and we need them to continue to come back frequently. We encourage you to make an appointment and to donate blood if you can. Just go to savealifenow.org. There you can get more information on where you can donate. You can also call 816-753-4040.